everybody, I'm your host Woody and today we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 cursed eBay dolls that will haunt your dreams. With everything from apparently friendly spirits to straight up demons, let's get into it. Number 10, Eloise. Alright, first up on this list we have Eloise because she's the one I saw while doing a separate video that made me realize I had to do a full top 10 about this haunted eBay doll market. She is apparently haunted by a succubus which are known for enticing men. She is reportedly capable of invading your dreams and psychically communicating with you. It's said you will have visions of a very attractive woman that matches your desires and she will try to seduce you. Doesn't really sound all that bad, right? Well, apparently you're going to become so attached to the doll and woman to the point of being obsessed with it. The description says, with long enough exposure you will find yourself daydreaming about it every waking moment. It will enslave your mind and soul if you let it. The doll is recommended for anyone who is no longer interested in trying to pursue women who don't want them, saying that you should not buy it if you have a wife and family because you will apparently no longer care about them, only the succubus. Number 9, Dawn. This doll was purchased by two paranormal investigators when they were contacted by a family who had originally bought the doll for their daughter at a garage sale. The doll had apparently started to talk to their daughter and she would wake up every night crying, them deciding they should probably get rid of it. Since owning the doll, the paranormal investigators had apparently run a variety of tests and learned that the spirit was apparently very dark and malicious. When they were communicating with it, they say they saw a shadowy figure standing in the corner of the room and felt cold gusts of wind hitting their bodies. One of them got an intense pain in their head and it apparently hurt to try and open their eyes. When they were done and they finally were able to open them, it revealed a red spot where she appeared to be bleeding from her eye. It also apparently has the power to make you feel sick and mess with your electronics. Why you would want to buy this, I don't know. Number 8, Mealing Boy. This one was purchased from a local estate sale by someone who was just looking to collect dolls, not knowing that the figure was haunted. They started noticing dark shadows in their home, glasses breaking in their hands, things being knocked off tables, and experiencing incredibly bad luck. So they handed them off to the current seller who is familiar with the paranormal. They noticed that their dog was cautious around the room the doll was kept in, and one day noticed their dog was struggling to breathe, and they saw that that their collar had somehow been tightened all the way. The next person to go near the doll was their daughter who started to feel a burning sensation on her arm and it revealed a deep bleeding scratch. Over the next day the energy in the house felt angry and tense and they noticed the strong smell of rotten eggs or sulfur which is a common sign that demons are around. They are selling it with the hopes that the spirit is not completely evil but just doesn't want to be around them specifically. Number 7, Renee. This doll was purchased from an online auction and was originally found in a church donation box. The people there having no idea where it came from as it just seemed to appear one day. When they brought it into their home, their pets were immediately wary of it and avoided any room that the doll was in. They also noticed that whenever they left it alone, all the other dolls they owned would be found fallen over or even smashed. When they attempted to communicate with the doll through a spirit box, all their phones started flashing off and on, and one even died despite being at a full charge. Charge. When they asked it questions, all they got in response were deep growling sounds. But when they asked if it was a good or evil spirit, it responded with darkness, probably not good. During the communication, they could hear their dogs crying and whimpering from where they had hidden themselves away upstairs. Number 6, Monica. This doll came from a group of four dolls that were all owned by an elderly woman. She would apparently call the dolls her friends and handmade the clothes for them and would have full conversations with them every every day. When she passed away, the dolls ended up in new hands. Throughout the night that they brought Monica home, they apparently started having severe headaches and upset stomachs. And when they tried to sleep, they had strange dreams and were woken up constantly. Their cats also apparently being incredibly fearful of the doll. Many people think that cats are able to sense things that we can't. When they communicated with the doll, they asked if she had been causing the headaches and other symptoms and she spoke through the spirit box saying, I have. 
have. During this on camera they saw a shadowy figure run across the room and at the same time an orb appeared to come out of the doll. They believe that Monica is confused and having a hard time adjusting to the fact that she's dead. Number 5. Twins These two matching dolls are apparently not haunted by a human spirit but instead something entirely different. When the two are together it will apparently inhabit both of them, but when apart it will become confused and jump between the two. The seller has claimed to communicate with it through both a Ouija board and a pendulum. The entity apparently will answer in a mix of words and gibberish, but when asked what it was, it responded with Satan and the devil. It doesn't seem to be overly active as they don't describe much about what the entity is capable of, just saying that they have seen dark shadows and orbs around the doll and will apparently hear a strange sound that is similar to gurgling water. They note in the description that a spirit will choose its keeper and if you feel inexplicably drawn to it then you are lucky, but be careful as you may not be able to handle it. Number 4. Cuddles This video has already been bad enough if you're scared of dolls and I'm about to make it even worse if you're scared of clowns too. This totally friendly and absolutely not terrifying little guy is called Cuddles. Apparently he's not actually an evil spirit and is more just a goofy little guy who wants to play tricks on you. He will apparently flicker lights on and off and play other pranks, though the seller doesn't specify what else he'll do, saying that's up to the new owner to find out. They can apparently often see mists, auras, and orbs around him when they take photos and will hear footsteps coming from the room he's kept in. I guess he's just walking around and doing a little clown dance or something. At the end of the description, they quickly tack on the fact that they will occasionally hear a spooky evil laugh, but then go on to say he's just a fun little guy to have in your home. So you're definitely taking a risk on this one. Number 3. Faye This doll was originally purchased at an estate sale where she was apparently owned by the family's mother. When they would visit, they would report hearing full on conversations coming from their mother's room, but only her and the dolls would be inside. Apparently, they would also occasionally see the doll's facial expression change right before their eyes. When they brought the doll home, they would hear movement coming from the room she was in, and it seemed to be able to mess with their electronics, setting off their phones. When they communicated with the doll through a spirit box, it apparently said that it wanted to fight with them, followed by a growling sound. As they were packing everything up, the spirit box set off with the word pain, and they heard footsteps in the room and also saw a figure on their camera. It apparently carries a heavy negative energy and they keep it locked outside in their shed. Number 2. Chloe Despite looking the most fearsome, Chloe is the only one on this list to be inhabited by an apparently totally friendly and nice spirit. She was reportedly owned by the seller's aunt who had a large collection of haunted dolls. She doesn't know the full story of the doll or the spirit and just has a brief description that was left behind by her aunt. It says that she was a young, beautiful girl that was alive in the late 1800s or early 1900s. The doll apparently brings peace and a positive energy into the home with a kind presence. She's also apparently known to make small movements and occasionally speak in a whispering voice. During her mortal life, she was apparently a girl who had a very traumatic death and her body was never found. She will also reportedly make you have very positive and pleasant dreams. I'm sure you're a nice girl and all, Chloe, but your face is just a little terrifying. Number 1. Cora This is another doll that was found at an estate sale and was listed as being evil. The family had apparently never even known that they owned the doll. They found it when cleaning out their mom's belongings where it was hidden under old blankets and appeared to be wrapped in an altar cloth from their church. It apparently exuded a dark energy and they remembered their mom often talking about dark forces being on earth. When they started attempting to communicate with the doll, its eyes would apparently appear to move and look at different people in the room. Over the spirit box, it said it hated them and wanted to hurt them. As it said this, one of them felt a burning sensation on their back and they saw deep red scratches that seemed to appear before their eyes. When asked if the doll had ill intent, it said the end is near. When they removed the doll from the home, the negative energy and feeling inside apparently lasted for days afterwards. Thank you guys for watching. That was 10 cursed eBay dolls that will haunt your dreams. Do you or anyone you know have a doll that you just swear is actually alive? Let me know. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe and maybe check out some more of our stuff. I've been Woody and you've been amazing. Join us next time for more lists and scary things. He will apparently, he will apparently flicker, he will apparently, oh my gosh.
He apparently will flicker lights on and off and play other pranks. Those, oh my gosh. 